Hi friends, I am Dirvim. Today we are going to do an experiment on air pressure. Behind this experiment, there is a basic science that what can air pressure do in our daily lives and in our surroundings and also how effective and powerful it can be. Now let's start the experiment. For this experiment, I have got a matchbox, a candle, a tissue paper, a tray and a glass. This experiment is all about air pressure that how can we lift up this tray with the help of all these things. If I say place this tissue paper on the tray and place the glass on it upside down, is it possible to be lifted up? Let's check. No way, it can't be lifted up. Now if I say place this lighted candle on the tissue paper, now I have placed the lighted candle on the tissue paper. Now I am placing this glass upside down on the lighted candle. Now let's check if this lighted candle can lift up this tray. Now try lifting up this tray. Oops, it can't be lifted up. To lift up this tray, first we have to make this tissue paper wet. I have made the tissue paper wet. Now place this wet tissue paper on the tray and place the lighted candle on it. I have placed the lighted candle on the wet tissue paper. Now place the glass on it upside down and check. Now try lifting up this tray. It can be lifted up with the help of air pressure. To express how powerful it can be, I am placing these two glasses filled with water on the tray. Now watch. Try lifting up this tray. This shows how powerful air pressure can be. Now let's understand the reason behind this. The burning candle is the reason behind this. As it burns, it uses oxygen present inside the glass and heat is generated, which causes the air inside the glass to start moving very quickly and expand. With less air inside the glass, the air pressure inside the glass drops. When the burning candle goes off, the air inside the glass cools down and contracts quickly, but the wet tissue paper blocks the returning outside. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and bye.